Newsflash, I know a movie screening got flooded. Should have seen it coming. All that more on today's Funk It Down Newsflash. Number three. Looks like God didn't give anyone an arc building heads up this time. After Revu Cinema in Exeter, pretty sure those are words, in England flooded, forcing a cancellation of its first screening of the biblical epic Noah. In the Bible, Noah is instructed by God to construct an ark to save his family and two animals of each kind from an apocalyptic flood which will scourge the earth of evil. Apparently, the recent flooding is not a result of a fault in the moral fabric of mankind, but that of an ice machine. While the cinema is back up and running, you're much safer just clicking my belly at a Noah parody I did. Your big ass boat is parked in a disabled area. So what, it doesn't mean nothing? It does mean something because your boat is taking up 40 disabled car parks. I've got a sticker. Number two. Breaking and entering is a game as easy as duck, duck, goose. Mainly duck. A Massachusetts woman called the police from her upstairs bedroom reporting banging noises downstairs from a supposed intruder. When officers arrived, they found no sign of a break-in, but after a quick sweep of the house, they found the culprit, none other than a soot-covered wood duck, Mick Quackerson. It appears the crafty critter pulled a Santa Claus and entered the house by the chimney. Foolishly believing the duck fell in the house by accident, the police released the duck into a nearby pond without questioning or a trial date, leaving the duck free to reoffend. Number one. Get ready to shake down some pixies, we're going to Never Never Land. A British professor has taken a series of photos that appear to be teeny tiny fairies. Aye, we little flying magical people frolicking their tiny little heads off. The photographer John Hyatt, who lectures at Manchester Metropolitan University, claims that the photos are real and unaltered. Well, he'd know. Unfortunately, he didn't capture any of the fairies in a jar so that we could harvest them for their sweet flight-inducing fairy dust. Until then, we'll just have to think happy thoughts to fly. No, it's still miserable. Interesting story. So, are these really fairies? Or is this another ploy by that duck? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more news. And until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying... Stay funky, everyone. Sam Ty, Sam Ty. Subscribe today. Funk it down. Has Jesus been invented yet? Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, oh, gross. Hang on a minute. This bird poo is making me hallucinate. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, oh, i got to get outside for a breather. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to build a boat. Newsflash. I know a liver. Let me get this adaptation. Let me get this adaptation. Quick in my belly. Quack, 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 quack. Interesting stories. Watch on clouds around. Total! Wow, man!